Variety that rocks. 100.5. Cruise FM. It's done. It is done. The photos have been taken, at least for me, and I think for most of the people that are going to be in the 2023 Fort McMurray Firefighters Charities Association annual calendar. I know it's a mouthful, but uh, it's also helping out five local charities, so it's huge. And there's going to be some hunkiness going on there, some pretty men and women of the Fort McMurray Firefighters who's going to be uh, gracing those pages, and I get to be amongst them. And probably standing out like a sore thumb because I mean I put in the work and I had help uh, so huge thank you to cut and conquer fitness for helping put me on the straight and narrow for uh, for fitness and exercise and I've been keeping that up since that uh, you know course ended and everything so huge thank you for the help there the bronzeness going on from dark and devious spray tanning and Emily Gale photography was the one behind the camera taking those photos volunteering her time as well so a lot of people a lot of people that have been putting in the work 12 months are coming your way in the, in the fall uh, stay tuned as we get closer to like October ish when we're going to hear more about actually uh, you know seeing these calendars getting them in hand people paying money for them so that we can help out these five local charities but before then you're going to be able to see a preview of my photos from this week's photo shoot that's going to be happening in july and i think that they're going to be good i did not quite get to like right at firefighter fit level admittedly but i put in the work for the time that i had and i think that i had some success there because i think the photos are going to turn out and i was like i need the protection of funny We'll talk to the photographer. I was like, I'm not going to be as fit as the firefighters, so I can be funny, and that will be my shield. <laughs> that will be my wall. Um, and so we got the some photos of me with an adorable kitten. Oh, my goodness, the behind the scenes. Ah, I was dying. I was dying with this ragdoll cat uh, because we we're going to do the trope of, like, rescuing a cat from a tree. Oh, isn't it adorable? And then there was also a duck. I got to meet a duck. I got to hang out with a duck and, I guess, rescue a duck from a tree for some reason. I'm not sure why I would do that, but I don't care because the photos are going to be amazing. Uh, and it was so cool to meet this duck named Moo Cow. Uh, as well, then we moved into the bay uh, in the fire hall and took some more photos, a little more serious, a little more sexy, uh, where I got the fire hose over my shoulder and everything, spraying it. Not a euphemism at all. No, no, no. Uh, but I think those ones are going to turn out real nice. I'm hoping, like, maybe one of the less funny ones actually goes into the calendar now. We'll see. I mean, you get to have your say. It won't be binding, but you get to have your say about what you think should go into the calendar, what your favorite is of all the takes. Uh, and then we'll see what's actually in that calendar. I'm so excited to see all of the photos, not just mine, when it comes out later on in the fall. Huge thank you to everybody who's been watching these videos for the past four months and supporting and showing that love. And yeah, getting a little thirsty and a little uh, horny with it <laughs> when telling me about my journey and how they're excited to see the photos. It's been a strange experience. So I have had a taste of the firefighter life on that level. Just a taste though, you guys are ravenous. But thank you so much to everybody and to the Fort McMurray Firefighters Charities Association for making it all happen. I still don't believe it, and I'm going to have it on my wall, and I'm still not going to believe it then, and it's going to be great.